Arsenal Fan TV, we're here outside the Arsenal Football Supporters Club, London branch. Anybody who knows anything about Arsenal will tell you that this is the, the most legendary football supporters club for all Arsenal fans. Situated right next door to Highbury. It's been here for donkey's years. I'm going to go in there and find out and get some information on the history of this legendary club. So I'm here with uh, Barry Baker, who's the Honorary Secretary of the Arsenal Football Supporters Club. Um, Barry, how long has the club been going? Since 49, 1949 it opened. Wow, since 1949? Yeah, it's the oldest club, definitely the oldest club. Who, who, who founded it? Who got it all together? A, a chap called Arthur Peacle is no longer with us, but uh, he, he started it in 49. It's been going from strength to strength from then onwards. And, I mean, since 1949, I'm uh, noticing the position of it right next to Highbury. Yeah. I mean, you know... Ideal, but the, pl the premises are very small and we tried to get a, a second extension, but we're not allowed to. But it, it, the place is absolutely rammed on a match day. Mm. But we need bigger premises, but this day and age, it's talking a lot of money, mm. a lot of money, especially in this area. I'm here with Mickey. I know this guy. I see him regularly at football, always on the moan. No, I'm only joking, right? <laughs> How long have you been coming to this club? Since 71. Wow, since 1971. Yeah. Glory Hunter, eh? You, joined, you started coming here when it was... Glory Hunter? Yeah, when it was all no, going well, 71. No, no. <laughs> I hated football in 71. It's just that a friend of mine at work turned around and said to me, do you want to come to football? Mm. So I said, yeah. And why, why this club? I mean, you're always there. I always why see you club? here. I like it. They're friendly people that we mix with. It's not like the other people down the road, they're very hostile. Mm. I didn't like it, so I decided to join Arsenal. It's a bit like a family, this club. It is, a big family. So how, how many members does the club have? Well, we used to have about 15,000. We've gone right down now, probably five mm. or six. Out, out of those, we've got nearly 2,000 life members. Wow, yeah. wow. I'm here with Vic, another character that I see at a lot of games. I love this guy, he's so funny. But Vic's here, he's selling like loads of programmes. Now, Vic... These programmes go, you've got programmes that go way back. Yeah, we've got them going back to the 70s, 80s, uh, even the Invincible year when we uh, went unbeaten. We've got a few from now. Uh, cup finals, uh, quite a few away games from over the last sort of 20 years. This yeah. programme's from 1971. Is this, this original, right? Yeah, this is the original from the double season when we won the double in 70-71. Obviously, we uh, went on to beat Tottenham at White Hart Lane and the one at Wembley. Wow, they changed a lot, haven't they, the programmes? I mean, yeah. uh, well, a bit of colour in it, though. There's some colour yeah, in it. There's a colour. Look at the price, one shilling. <laughs> one <Yeah>. shilling. <laughs> Part of the uh, supporters' club is that they sell merchandise here, and uh, one of the people who've been selling this merchandise for absolute years is... 35 years. How long? 35. 35 years. This is Peggy. Um, Peggy, tell us about the, the shop. Um, well, the shop is open to the public, but... We do help our own members and we do try to give our members a discount. Mm. Um, we do our best to accommodate them for whatever they want. Mm. Um, we've been here a long time. I've actually been running this shop for 35 years. Listen, the, only, the first question I want to ask you is how has the merchandise changed over the years? Because 35 years ago, merchandise wasn't, you know, that wasn't one of the main parts of the club. Oh, it's changed quite drastically really. I mean at one time we used to be able to get a 20% discount for everything, the supporters clubs, uh, but they stopped that some time ago. So we started producing our own merchandise with our official supporters club badge on, which we've had since 1949 and that's become quite popular. And we've reproduced that on scarves and hats and t-shirts and polo shirts and um, some other merchandise like mm. um, calf stickers and autograph books, uh, program binders, quite a lot of stuff. And I noticed like uh, people from other clubs, um, like the, I know the Milton Keynes Supporters Club yeah. and various other clubs, they also come here as well. How, yeah. are, are they involved in it as well? No, they, no, they just come here for a drink basically and, and socialise. But it was just like the old place in Harby, you know, the halfway house where the players used to go. That was absolutely minute to get in there. Mm. And th this is just like a, just like a home. I'm here with the legendary 
this lady is a legend. This is the legendary Pat and Teresa. Now, these two ladies control what they call, a lot of Arsenal fans call the shed, which is part of the supporters club. And uh, tell, us, tell us what you do here. We do travel, in uh, memberships, tickets, and sell programs for our program seller. Mm. Teresa sells badges um, for the supporters club. And basically, a contact for everything here. Mm. How long have you been doing this, Pat? Since 1986. Now, Pat, I talk to a lot of fans here, and they say you're like the organiser. They like, go, you know what? When Pat says, it goes. That's right, hopefully. <laughs> but there's also a lot of fans that say thank you very much as well. Mm. So, no, but they said it in a nice way. They said, yeah. when Pat says, this is how it's going to go, this is how... I mean, I know you do a lot of organising for the travel to all the away games uh, and that up and down the country? My husband does the away, but when mm. he's on shift work, I have to deal with it. I mean, everybody I've been speaking to today, they said it's like a, like a, almost like a family atmosphere around the club. Well, it is a family because we argue a lot, which is what families do, and then we still we love each other, so we just get on with it really, Pat, don't we? Yeah. Have you managed to keep it going since 1949? Well, because that means there's a, there's a lot of history well, attached to yeah, this place. Yeah. Originally, we used to do everything. We, before Arsenal started doing their own travel, we used to run the trains and the coaches back in the 50s and 60s. And then we used to have a football team and a Sunday league. We had a pool team, a darts team. And, uh, you know, gradually it just died out because of this, mm. this cut the current system now. Mm. You know, the big, the big clubs are taking over everything. So we, we still going well because we've got money from the bar, we run a shop, mm. we do a little food place, so we've still, we've still got our head above water. I mean, do, do, do any of the players ever come in here? We've had, we've had lots of players in here, yeah, we've had, oh, we've had loads of players, they used to come in and draw our raffles, and mm. uh, we even had, uh, when we had the pool team, David Miles used to play for the Arsenal secretary, mm, yeah. mm. Pat Rice has been in, going forever, O'Leary. Mm. Kenny Sanson, they've all been in here. Mm. What about the current players? Have you ever seen any no. of the current players come no. in here? I mean, no. they're all, they're all molly now, aren't they? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Go in the coach, down under the ground, and that's it. You never see them until they come out on the pitch. It's all wrong, really. No, it's so much. I, I feel like I'm standing up in here, like I'm surrounded by history. I'm looking at all the pictures on the wall, yeah. and, and, you know, it's the history of this place. I mean, and it must be a big responsibility for you to keep this going. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why we've got the bar. The bar's our main income at the moment. Mm. And uh, it's cheap prices, mm. that's the main thing. So, so a lot of people come in here rather than go to a pub, mm. which is good for us. And if somebody wants to join the club, is it still open for, you know, oh, yeah, can any yeah, Arsenal fan just be, be a yeah, member? We've got a special shed outside with the enrolment office, you can just fill a form in and join. Mm. And loving the team still? Oh, I love it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except for the prices. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything silly about me, because no. I'm not interested. No, I'm not going to say. Okay. If Arsenal win the league this season, yeah. I will dress up in the full <laughs> tie attire. My tie? So, so you know what you're talking right. about. So this is... I will be the, the, the okay. another uh, Mr. Merchandise too, well. right? <laughs>